Hey, good morning, brothers and sisters. Glory to God on this awesome morning. And I just want to say that I'm really excited about today. And I just want you all to know just how much the Father loves you. I'm plugging in the lamp a little better. And, uh, I've read through First John so many times, but it's just this morning, dear, in worship, and really just enjoying just such a sweet moment with the Lord. I, I just feel like He's just kind of like been rocking me like I've been in a hammock this morning. And His presence is just so wonderful in my house right now. And the word that the Lord shared with me this morning is just His word, you know. It's been since the beginning. And it's just talking sweet to me. <clears throat> and I just think about how powerful His word is. Yesterday morning, there was a, a young boy that I was picking up for school. And this young man, he, he speaks a lot about the occult. Uh magic and whatnot and he's young he's really young and he asked me if I've ever read the clouds and asked me if I've ever thought that humans were supposed to be animals and animals were supposed to be humans and I told him never and I just purely stated that the word of God says life and death are in the power of the tongue and this young man, he just comes back and he says, So you mean we live in God's words? And I said, Well, yeah. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. So to hear this young man go from speaking about things that really I just don't stand for, to having the revelation that we live inside of God's word was mind blowing so I really would just want to encourage you all with uh, the word of God from 1st John this morning chapter 2 verse 12 and it says I write to you dear children because your sins have been forgiven. On account of his name I write to you fathers. Because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you young men because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you dear children because you have known the father. I write to you fathers because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you young men because you are strong. And the word of God lives in you and you have overcome the evil one. Two words I want to focus on right now. One is have. It's past tense, right? The word of God right here doesn't say you are going to be forgiven. It doesn't say you are going to overcome. It says you are not, it says, uh, because you have known him, it doesn't mean you are going to know him. So the word right here, it says, you have overcome evil, you have been forgiven, and you have known him. Wow, that really just, it really just speaks to my heart today. Like, that right there, boom. Boom. Simple truth, simple gospel, right in our faces, right here. Your sins have been forgiven. Have been, have been done, done. It's taken care of, it's paid for, it's wiped out, it's abolished, wiped clean, right? So I want to encourage you today that if the truth that we stand on, the Word of God says that your sins have been forgiven, why do you remember them? Why, why, do, you, why do you focus on things that have taken place in, in your past? That you have laid down at his feet. Leave him there. And I want to encourage you that. It says. You have overcome the evil one. 
So each day that you might start to uh, have these thoughts that your mind comes under attack, just like Pastor Ian was saying the other day, speak it out. Say, not today. You don't get this. You're not going to have this. This is not my thought. Get out of here. I would rebuke you, right? Get out of here. But I feel like in that moment, I want you just to go ahead and make a declaration over your life and over the city. You are filled by the Spirit. You do walk by the Spirit. You do have a redeemed mind. Like Pastor Maddie said, you do have a redeemed imagination. Daydream with the Lord for a minute right there. And the word right here says that you are strong. And the word of God lives in you. So are you feeling weak today? Go feast on the word of God. If you're feeling weak, go before the throne. If you're feeling weak, remember that your sins have been paid for. That by his blood you have overcome evil in this world. And that you know the Father. It's okay, guys. We don't always get this at once. And just because we get it today and we go to sleep and we wake up, we might not get it as soon as we wake up first thing in the morning. But I guarantee you when you declare the word of God over your life, when you make declarations of faith into your life, you're sowing, you're sowing declarations of faith into your life. So that means that you get to reap the rewards of the declaration of faith in your life. So big today. Trust big today. Dream big today. Declare really big today over your house, over your family, over your work, over your city, wherever it is. Know that Yahweh is faithful to listen. And he will provide. And he will strengthen. At the end of the day, guys, well, it's backwards on here. Jesus is king. I love you all. Have an awesome day. Keep your heads up today. Keep your hearts filled. Keep the word of God fresh in your chest and on your tongue. And know that you are mighty men and women of God meant to do mighty things. Awesome. I love you.